Hello, my fellow believers. It's Redemptor once again with another interesting video. As I told you on my previous videos, I am not a preacher, neither do I intend to be one in the future. On this channel, I do commentary videos commenting on different topics concerning Christianity and most importantly, the salvation by the faith of our Lord Jesus Christ. This is a channel where you get to hear what many preachers won't tell you the truth of the gospel. We are all ambassadors in Christ and our work is to share the truth of the gospel to the world and to the non-believers. Today's video is not just our usual video guys. Today I have to tell the truth as it is and I'm sure the truth will set many free. I've realized most of Gino Jennings followers are so blinded by their trust on Pastor Gino Jennings that who is just a mere man and forgotten the truth of the word of God. Stop idolizing this man guys. This will make you follow errors without realizing which is the truth. Don't be blinded by love. Although Pastor Gino Jennings quotes the Bible while passing his messages, that doesn't make him holier than thou. You can as well read the Bible and understand by yourself. Most of the times, he quotes this Bible wrongly. In this video, he was responding to a question on why it's wrong for women to wear extensions. But to tell you the truth, he is lying. He should tell us where exactly in the Bible does the Bible state that women shouldn't wear hair extensions? Let's listen to him as he explains. Then we will go step by step in talking about the verses he has just quoted. Is it permissible for them to wear weaves and extensions? <laughs> no. No, no. What's wrong with the way God made you? Amen. Why would you put on you what God didn't make? That's right. I see many of sisters throughout the world. Some sisters, very dark skin. Mm -hmm. Go put on a blind wig. That's right. Like they got a hot beam light on their head. That's right. Having weavings, hair extension, mm -hmm. false hair. God wants you to be the way he made you. For the Bible says in Leviticus chapter 10. And verse 10. And verse 10. Follow me in the scriptures. You see, I love to use all the word of God. All of it. That's all right. of it. That's right. Leviticus chapter 10 and verse 10. Then we get 1 Corinthians, or rather 1 John chapter 2 and uh, begin verse, at verse 14. Verse 14. Come on, Sam. In Leviticus chapter 10 and verse 10. Get and, this extension, wearers. And that ye may put difference. And you, that's unbelievable. I want you to get it also. That's right. Because now the, women, the men are want to do what the men are doing. Amen. All right, get this. And that ye may put difference. Do what? Put difference. No, be the same. Put difference. Be the same. Put difference. Put a, give chapter and verse again. In Leviticus chapter 10 Leviticus and verse 10. Leviticus chapter 10 and verse 10. And that ye may put difference. Put a difference. Between holy. Between God's way. And unholy. And the way of the devil. And between unclean. Between what's unclean. And clean. Do you hear what the book says? That ye may put difference. If the scripture says if you are in Christ, you are a new creature, all things are passed away. Those wigs. That's right. Those hair extensions. Mm -hmm. That false ponytail. Amen. That false bane. That's right. That toupee. That's right. Do away with it. That's he right. He says put a difference. Put difference. In this chapter 10 in verse 10 of Leviticus, this was Moses giving instructions to Aaron on how to conduct the priestly duties with his sons in the tabernacle. If you want to understand the Bible, don't just read one verse and run with it. If you read the Bible, the same chapter from verse 8, you will understand that these words were directed to Aaron. Not everyone was made a priest among the Israelites, God instructed Moses to ordain Aaron and his sons to be the priests. And all through God was instructing Moses on how he should guide Aaron and the sons in contacting the priesthood. Why would Pastor Gino Jennings lie to us that God was addressing the old church? Let's stop idolizing this man and pay heed to the leading of the Spirit. Let's read chapter 8 
of the same Leviticus and you will understand why chapter 10 was addressing Aaron and not the whole church. And then the Apostle John teaches us. First John chapter 2 and at verse 14. Do what? I've written, or at verse 15. All right. Love not the world. Love not the world. Neither the things. Neither the things. That are in the world. Well, God forbid his people to love the things that are in the world that's against God. If any man love the if world. If any man love what the world had to offer you. The love of the Father is not in the him. The love of God is not in you. How will God feel about the conduct of the world? For all. How much? All that is in the world. How much? All that is in the world. What did the Bible say about it? For all that is in the world, the lust of the flesh. That is what the flesh want. Hair that, extensions. That's right. Hair black, extensions is brown. That's right. Hair gray, just a minute, brother. Let me finish this up. Hair gray, extensions black. Amen. What's wrong with the way God made you? That's right. God didn't make you with false hair and all that and you putting all these weavings in and amen trying to look in a way that God didn't make you look that's right don't even need contact lenses but they don't like the color of their eyes amen so they go put contact in lenses just to alter their color right one eye blue one eye stripe if that's you got right. stuck like that you'll be hunting down some crazy TV evangelist amen they try to slap his hand on you, they, con they get the contacts off. That's right. I agree with Pastor Gino Jennings that some of the things happening in the world today aren't right. But how can one quote the scriptures wrongly just to prove a point? I have never seen or heard any Bible verse forbidding women from wearing extensions. These are just worked ideas of a man who wants to dictate how his followers should behave. That's why he even separates women from sitting in the same place with men. This is carnality and it's poisonous for a church. Pastor Gino Jennings should stop manipulating people to live a life that God never intended. God wants you to live righteously, but not under condemnation or guilt. And you take note, the reason why you find so many of our young people today don't know what to do with their body, mm -hmm. because you allow yourself to be influenced by the media. Amen. Every time the media put out something, mm -hmm. they make it look uncivilized. God's people are supposed to be different from the sinner. That's right. But today when you go in the church, you don't see no difference. No, no. You look just like the sinner. That's right. God is too senior to judge people by appearance. God gave instructions in the Bible that the only way to be saved is believing and confessing that Christ Jesus is Lord. All these other issues of physical appearance is mere nonsense. As long as your conscience is right and your heart is at peace with God, then that is how you know you are right with God. When you are doing something wrong, your conscience will condemn you. Leave alone people. Pastor Gino Jennings shouldn't change the word of God to fit his understanding. If that's how he wants his followers behave, then let it be. But he shouldn't use the word of God to defend his malicious ideas in his head. This is too petty. And God saw everything. Listen. In Genesis chapter 1 and verse 31. What? And God saw everything. Everything. That he had made. That who what? That he had made. God didn't make wigs. That's right. He had made. He saw everything that he made. And behold. Behold. It was very good. It was very good. God right. didn't make two pays and wigs and hair extensions and that's right a man is making that stuff. Amen. You walk around with a horse's tail on your head and Oh, that foolishness. That's right. Be the way God made you. That's it. I know many of you will condemn me, but do I care? I am telling the truth. 
and I'm not condemned to speak lies. In this channel, we speak nothing but the truth. No matter how many people will get hurt, the truth will always have its way. I am saved to tell what is true from what is wrong. Go ahead and speak whatever you want because most of you have made Gino Jennings a mini god, but that's none of my business. I am in the business of telling people what is true. Yes, Gino Jennings quotes the scriptures, but does it mean he is always right? He's human for crying out loud. What makes his followers think he can't make mistakes? Tell me how Leviticus 10.10 10 is connected with women not wearing wigs and extensions. Today, I know I'm not on the right side with you guys for condemning Gino Jennings, but I have to tell you the truth as it is. Thank you for watching today's video. Thank you for always coming back to watch our videos. Thank you for your company and for your support. I don't take it for granted, guys, that you, are you always come back here to watch my videos. I really appreciate you. If it is your first time coming across our channel, kindly consider subscribing. Press the notification bell so you'll be notified once you upload a new video. Don't forget to give our videos a thumbs up, guys. I love you so much. Bye-bye and see you on the next one. Shalom.